Must be hearing things. You know, I come from a good Christian household. Yeah. Father's a judge, mother's a retired nurse. My father always told my two sisters never to go out alone. <laughs>
What are you gonna do? I'm not a good parent to him as it is, Chance. I, I gotta pursue my goals. There's no way I can raise that baby. Look at me. I had to drop out of college, out of full scholarship to Caltech, one of the best engineering schools in the world. Raise a baby? No. I gotta get away. I gotta better my life. There's no way I can raise that boy. Maybe you can put the baby up for adoption or something. I don't want to put my baby in the hands of someone I don't know. <laughs> you understand, don't you, Chance? I mean, but I, I can't bring myself to raise him either. He, he's so precious. You don't even look at him, Joyce. Having a baby is not the end of the world. Well, it sure feels like it. Especially considering it was conceived out of a rape. I had no idea. Joyce, why didn't you ever tell me this? Enclosed is a letter for the baby. I don't want him to read it until he's at least a teen. It's only a few words, but it took me forever to finish. Oh, God, help me. <laughs> My son understands why I had to do this. Didn't I buy you a hairbrush? Yeah. Then why do you insist on dirtying up mine with that old dandruff head of yours? I mean, <laughs> <laughs> Son, you know I'm proud of you, don't you? I love you, you know? 
Yeah. So, baby, what have you decided on your valedictorian speech? What's going to be the topic? Oh, well, I can't tell you what it will be, but I sure can tell you what it won't be. Uh-oh. What's that? <laughs> Not world peace. <laughs> you know, I mean, I was watching all these Miss America shows last week, and, and they were playing about a second. And <laughs> all the chicks had the exact same answer. I just want to say that we should all strive for, for world peace. <laughs> <laughs> now, isn't that brilliant? <laughs> I tell you, Bob, I'm just so through with that. <laughs> Good luck to you, too, man. All right, good luck, man. Good luck. Yeah, good luck. All right, man. Yeah. All right, white right, 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 Trunk of my car. That's right. Go fetch your H two O fat boy. <laughs> so, uh, Vince, hand on. How y'all folks doing, man? Oh, uh, everybody's good in my home, man. <laughs> you always say that, man. <laughs> Does everybody from Africa have such a positive view on life? Oh yeah. <laughs> what about you? Man? Oh man, uh, things are starting to settle since the divorce. No, I mean it's not so bad. Dad's keeping the home intact and stuff. Thank you. Thanks, man. Oh, oh yeah. man. Your eyes is bigger than African buffalo. <laughs> <laughs> Could you have sat somewhere else? And what y'all doing over here? What, having babies or something? Oh, boy. No, man, we just talking about family. Oh. I know I forgot to give your mama some money for groceries this morning. But daddy forgets these things from time to time, son. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Jane. I tell you, wait, hold up. Tell me this, man. Uh, if I touch your big belly with my finger, will a tree pop out of your mouth? Or will you just giggle like that silly ass silly girl, do man? <laughs> Whatever, man. Um, hey, your mama find a man yet? I mean, for real, though, I'll date her. She don't need to be alone. She don't need to be alone. <laughs> Together, we could be a special blend of mocha chocolate. Ooh. <laughs> you like that? I'll tell you what, but I, bet, I tell you what, I bet what? they got more calories in your ass than in that mocha chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> you got me right there, Mark. Yeah, yeah everybody well, doesn't Mark. have two happily married parents like yours, James. Oh, y'all never hear me say they was happy. This is old, untalented Mr. Ripley over here. <laughs> old fake ass Matt Damon. Whatever, man. Shut up. Tripping. Shut up. Hey, Marcus, so have you decided on what college you'll attend? Nah, man. I'm, you know, still mulling over some offers. You know, I got a couple of academic scholarships they offer me from uh, uh, Harvard and uh, Tuskegee. And uh, UCLA, you know they all at the top of my list. Right. UCLA. Hmm. Hmm. 
So you don't want none play, boy? Want what? <laughs> <laughs> Are we going with that one? All right, man. I'll tell you what. Let's play one on one. All right. No problem. That'll settle the score, right? Yeah, no problem with that. I'll just send that ass packing uh -huh. back to them uh, dirt courts and tire rim goals in Zimbabwe somewhere. <laughs> it's Rwanda, man. Well, no, it'll go there first. And then it'll go to Zimbabwe after that. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, dirt courts, tire rim goals, with the primitive beats and the desperate tribal yells popping off and shit. <laughs> oh, yeah. No, she went, no, my mama did. You my way, my home, my way, my way, my home, my way, 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 my Put that brush, God. Damn, that's my favorite brush. Please understand that I love you, but I can't bring myself to raise you. A bad thing happened to your mom. I will get to the point. I was raped by a white man, and you were born from this tragic incident. This is so hard for me because you are the true innocent one here. Please find it in your heart to forgive me one day. For I do not know if I can ever forgive myself for my actions. Love, your mother. Should I tell I know about the letter or what? Sister Tefra. Many years ago, a horrific crime was committed against her. During all the fighting between my native country, Rwanda, and the neighboring country, Burundi, 
many women were raped. After I grew up, my sister told me all about it. Many mothers had babies as a result of those rapes. These little kids were known as the children of hate. Many mothers abandoned them, for they saw in the eyes of their babies the viciousness and the savagery that was committed against them. But my sister Tevra kept her baby. I still haven't given me an answer on if I should tell her about the letter. Because you already know the answer is inside you. you and I later became your guardian. Can you show me just a little respect? Don't turn away when I'm talking to you, boy. I ain't no damn boy. I'm a man. I feel more like a freaking man if you had told me about my past. Killing me inside. You came into this world under some very unfortunate circumstances as it was. I wanted to tell you sooner. But how? I was your protector. I had a right to know this. This is my life, not yours. I don't know what you want me to say. this letter hidden from me all this time? All these years? And I found out about it like this? I was born out of a rape. You are special and you are loved. Now remember when your mother would say you were as innocent as an angel. You should have told me about this. I always wondered why my skin was so light. Come to find out some white motherfucker assaulted my mother. Marcus, don't Where's my mother? That bitch ass of a man was supposed to be my father? Fuck him. How can I find my mother? Where is she, Chance? Don't you think I have a right to know? I this? don't know! I think you should just let the past be, baby. What? You make it sound like somebody stole a pair of my George or some Lucy bullshit. Doesn't want to be found. I'm sure she has a new life. You go looking for her and you're going to bring back all those horrible it's memories. It's not my fault. She should have had an abortion or some bull. Oh, I get it. 
You just scared of losing me, huh? Let me tell you something. You already have. Marcus. Please don't hate me. I couldn't hate you. You know why? Because hating you implies that I have feelings for you. And you do the math, Mom. Can you believe that shit, man? The nerve of her. I understand what you're saying, Marcus. But she's your mother. She's probably hurting more than you can imagine. Her hurting? And she is not my mother. Not your biological. But she's the woman who raised you. Have you taken into consideration that your birth mom may not want to be contacted? It doesn't matter. I'm looking for her anyway. I'm happier than a pig and shit. <laughs> oh, man, I love Tuskegee. Oh, man, it's such a good school, man. Oh, really? I'm looking forward to entering the school this time. You know, Tuskegee has a, a big, beautiful campus with big, beautiful asses on the sisters to match. Wow. <laughs> when I tell you, them southern girls ain't no joke. How's Howard? Howard is good, man. They have one of the best law schools in the country. Cool. Did you know that my school has a, uh, one of the greatest George Washington Carver Science Centers? Oh, really? A black man. Wow. He was a genius. I mean, he was one of the greatest scientists ever to live. He studied plant life and the many uses of the peanut. Hmm. Just think, man. Oil, mayonnaise, butter. All from the peanut. Wow. He grew up during slavery without his parents, too. One day I hope to be a great scientist just like George Washington Carver was. Man, that's deep, man. Thanks for sharing. No problem, man. Hey, look, I gotta go. I'll talk to you later, all right? All right, man. Take care. Bye. I heard you up there on the phone as usual. You're only home from college a few days and you're already running those chops. <laughs> you got any more bags in the car? Yeah. All right, I'll right, get them for you. Okay. Imagine that all of them are in the bed. Of course not. I love men. I'm close to 
closer to my father than my mother. And look how wonderful your uncle is. I just choose to date here and there. The honest truth, Marcus, is that I may have found a few men over the years who could measure up to my standards, but they could not measure up to what I thought you should have had, because I wanted the very best for you. I'm sure I'll marry one day if I find the right man. That's what you tell me, huh? I know you're just itching to, for me to go back to Tuskegee and get off my summer break so you could, uh, but get your freak on. Get your freak on. Boy, you will! <laughs> yeah, upon this, uh, midnight. I'm ready. Look, she's going to be happy to see you. She was my best friend, and you are not the only one wondering what she looks like. Isn't the ocean one of God's most beautiful creations? <laughs> My God, you look great. <laughs> How are you? I'll give you two a moment. I love you, Marcus. bother me anymore. Found out he was shot to death in a robbery attempt years ago. You abandoned me.
husband Donnie and his nieces Karen, Krista, Kyla. Show 